So Microsoft has unveiled significant updates to its DirectX suite, focusing on ray tracing and neutral rendering. The update includes DirectX Ray Tracing 1.2 or DXR 1.2, enhanced PIX support, and new neutral rendering capabilities, all aimed at improving visual fidelity and performance across NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel hardware. Good news, right? Now, DXR 1.2 introduces two key technologies, Opacity Micro Maps, or OMM, and Shader Exclusion Rendering, or SER. Now, OMM optimizes alpha-tested geometry, delivering up to a 2.3 times performance boost in path-traced games. SER enhances rendering performance by up to a two times boost in some scenarios by intelligently grouping shader execution. Now these improvements promise to deliver up to a 40% performance gain in complex scenes. That's incredible. And this is demonstrated in Alan Wake 2. NVIDIA has already committed to supporting these features in their GeForce RTX drivers and Microsoft is working with AMD and Intel, as well as Qualcomm for broader adoption. Now, Microsoft is also introducing support for cooperative vectors in Shader Model 6.9, enabling developers to integrate neutral rendering technologies directly into the graphics pipeline. This introduces neutral block texture compression, which reduces memory usage while maintaining visual fidelity and neutral superscaling and as well denoising for real-time path tracing. NVIDIA's Neutral Shading SDK will support DirectX and utilize cooperative vectors, facilitating the integration of neutral rendering. Additionally, Windows Warp WARP, a CPU-based DirectX software renderer, will receive performance updates and become fully compatible with DirectX 12 Ultimate, supporting features like ray tracing and mesh shaders. Microsoft will also provide day one support for DXR 1.9 in PIX, its DirectX debugger and profiler. These technologies will be available in the preview Agility SDK in late April 2025.